All right, everyone. Let's go ahead and start back in with Fiddler, Irish Fiddler, video number six. We're working on the clothing, and I just wanted to show you some of the behind the scenes work that I have been doing. And that would be starting to put a little bit of, actually this is indigo, um, into the clothing. I'm going to go over it with a little Crimson Lake a little later, just to give it a little bit of a different look on the vest than I will have on the slacks or the jeans. Um, I've gone in here with my indigo with a small brush and I've tried to indicate what I see in the belt and the buckle. So I've started here. This is just simply indigo and a little bit of water. Same thing though, I've gone in here with some cobalt blue. The other thing I've done is I've started to work some negative space behind this little shrub. I've gone back into the shirt. This is kind of a mistake right here. I've also started on the hands. I do need to bring the bow down. I've gone too high. So I will tell you that this is Crimson Lake. So let's just go ahead and start working on the clothing. I'm going to leave the um, face alone for a while. And my work will be in the clothing. I'm studying all the folds. And what's so interesting about the folds is you have to see what's going on underneath the fabric and what the body is, is making the fabric do. This is never just one pass. There are several passes to see this happen. I might also say, it's hard to get it right for me the first time. Notice how that little bit of light catches on the edge of the leg, and we want to preserve that. And I'm just trying to figure it out. One fold at a time. And some of them just won't be correct.
And sometimes you just get lucky. All right, so I'm feeling okay about this side of the slacks or jeans, I should say. We're going to leave that alone. And we're going to go to the other side. And again, it's a matter of what's going on underneath the fabric. You can almost see what the legs are doing underneath. I am working upright. And some of these folds will get stronger in the second rhythm. Oh, this, this vest has somewhat of a lapel. And now with just a little bit of cobalt blue, I'm going to go ahead and put in the folds of the shirt. That got a little green right there.
With every layer, I get stronger in my statement. That's a little piece of fuzz. Now eventually I'll start working the complements of these blues with a little bit of vermilion mixed in. Okay, we're going to leave that alone for a little bit and let that dry. Let's just leave that alone. Let's, let's just leave that alone. Okay. I'm not sure that's right, but for now, we're going to leave it alone. All right. I am working the background. And really just putting in... an indication and then going back with a little bit of negative painting. See, right there I'm just solidifying some of that negative painting. With every layer, my negative painting gets stronger. I am not trying to duplicate what's there either. That's really important. just making shapes and enjoying them. The colors change just a little bit with each layer and that's kind of fun to see. So that's how I'm tackling the background. So let's decide just where this bow needs to end, right about here. We're going to leave that alone and 
until it dries. In the meantime, more negative painting. And you can see each time I change colors, each time I put a color over top, things change a little and I get more texture and more indication of the background. What I've learned over the years with painting is honestly my, con my contrasts don't need to be really, really strong. Sometimes a little subtlety goes a long way. This is a crimson lake. And now I'm going to take a little bit of vermilion, or I mean crimson lake, and a little bit of green to darken some of these areas that are in the shadow. You can see that this does have a little bit of green to it. I'm trying to be a little spotty here. And we're going to call this video just about finished. I really don't want to give a lot of attention to this bench. like that I think could work. I will need to take some of that very brown and take it into, this is the wash really, so look at how it changes over top of the green. And now what I'm doing is incorporating the same color as a glaze inside green foliage there. This is the same color on the bench, it's just that it's now over top of the green. And up here, same thing, just a little into the background. Okay, so we're going to call this video finished for the moment. 